Prince Charles flirted with Zayn Malik's model ex-girlfriend at a glamorous reception last night The 69-year-old future king was filmed complimenting Neelam Gill, 22, who was wearing a see-through lace dress for the charity event at St. James Palace As the pair playfully laughed together, Charles told her, you've got to keep the curves, you see At one point, the 5'11 model even touched his arm as they joked together while meeting at a star-studded lineup event for the Prince's Trust Neelam was linked to the One Direction star back in 2015 following his split from fiancé Perry Edwards However, the rumored romance only lasted for a couple of months as he went on to strike up a relationship with another model Gigi Hadid Dame Helen Mirren, pop star Cheryl and Sir Tom Jones joined the Prince of Wales at the glittering reception to recognize young people who overcame adversity with help from his charity Charles greeted celebrities who had turned out to mark one year of partnership between the Prince's Trust and L'Oreal The charity's Invest in Futures campaign works with young people whose lives have often been ravaged by tragedy to instill the confidence needed for them to succeed Dame Helen hailed its work as she spoke of her own struggle with nerves while Sir Tom said he hoped to forge closer bonds with the organization now he has moved back to the UK permanently Guests heard stories of bravery from those who fought back from traumas including sexual abuse and grief to build a new future through the trust I always say building your self-confidence is a journey, it doesn't happen overnight, and I'm still on this journey What the Prince's Trust and L'Oreal Paris are collaborating on is essential work, they are helping young people begin this journey Cheryl arrived at the palace wearing a long black dress and was seen smiling and chatting with Dame Helen Sir Tom, who recently returned the UK following the death of his wife in 2016, spoke of his admiration for the Prince's Trust, saying, young people need it if they're unlucky, come from hard backgrounds I had a good start in life. I was encouraged to sing right from when I was a child, when you see children you haven't they need help, they need people to do something for them, and the Prince's Trust is one of those things One young woman, Grace Graham, was one of those whose life story stunned the audience Referring to herself in the third person, she said, the death of her father at 15 left a vulnerable young girl Becoming a rape victim did not stop her determination to achieve an education. Despite the murder of her boyfriend in the first year of university, she graduated with a bachelor's in sociology and social policy. But, due to her grief and trauma, she was sucked into a world of addiction to escape her reality. With the encouragement of ideas and feeling of empowerment look at me now Charles said at the close of the evening, at the Prince's Trust we have become increasingly concerned about young people's confidence and sense of self-worth and my trust released its ninth youth index report just two weeks ago and it shows that young people's happiness and confidence are at the lowest level since the study began, which is rather alarming In the worst cases a fundamental lack of confidence can hold young people back from even starting or progressing in our programs, so it was vital that we could respond in some way to this 